Greetings, monkey movers. Welcome to another game of the Rapid Speed Run. Again, we might... No, we actually found a match pretty quick. Doesn't look like it's going to be a lot of points, but let's see if he's a real human at least. Uh, seems to be so. He's been winning a lot lately, but that's fine with us. Alright, so we'll play against him. B4. Let's see, does he have balls or no? He does. Now, is he intelligent or not? Eh, semi. Uh, we'll go back. Okay. Sure. Um... Knight here and push. Do I just tank? Let's get this knight out first. Probably gonna have bishop here anyway, so I could play. Hmm. All right, we'll play c4. I was debating a g3 game, but I don't think I would like that too much. <clears throat> I don't think he'll take, because then I'm stopping him from castling for a few more turns. But we'll see. Okay, that is also a little strange. We'll take that, and then Bishop's going to pin whatever piece takes back. I could even do it with... Uh, with the queen. Okay, so that's cool. <clears throat> Do I want this random pawn on b3? I don't really want to trade off queens though, because I think I'm going to be attacking more so than him in this position. Um. I could develop my knight normally and then chase him away. What else do we got? Yeah, maybe develop the knight and then rook c1 will be the, the way I play this. And if he doesn't stay on this file, then I could play bishop here. Unless he goes like there. Then I probably won't play it. But if he goes here, by all means. I won't do it if he goes here, because then when I do it, he's going to develop with tempo. But here he's not developing with any sort of tempo. So check. He's going to move. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, he's obviously trying to get his bishop here. I think I might want to get my knight onto, um, excuse me, e4. Um, so that I could either get it to g3 and threaten the queen, or what I can do. Um... I'm looking at like some sort of sack and I'm having a check, but he actually has this annoying move. Um, and the way I defend that is by doing something stupid like bishop d3. Then he's even able to double up. In which case I can go here. Queen goes up there. I have knight h4. Okay, and then I pick up the bishop, and we're out of trouble. So, I should be able to defend this idea. <clears throat> I 
And yeah, if we see bishop g4, I think I just want to go bishop to e2. I think I'd be happy with that. Okay, so he does go with the queen. So now I have this move like, like I said, right? Here I just move this, so no big deal. And before I move it, I mean, ooh, shoot. That, that's actually probably better for me, because I get this nice attack. But I, I did not expect that, so that's a mistake on my part, for sure. I don't think he'd be crazy enough to take on g2. We're just going to go rook g1. He's going to have to go off to the side, middle of nowhere. Then I could just start taking pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely going to play h3 at some point. Yeah, he's thinking. I don't know if he's debating queen g2, if he's thinking about like f5 or something. Which I think f5 is bad. I think bishop f5 is playable. But then I'm going to play h3. And I'm content with losing one of my knights for his bishop. Yeah, so he does go there. So I'll play quick. He can't take this first for the queen, obviously, because he's just going to lose the exchange. Probably playable, right? Two pieces for the queen, but I'm definitely going to be winning. Yeah, so he does go for it. Um... This is actually not as good as I thought it was. <coughs> so it's not that I necessarily have to do something right now, but mm, maybe I'll play queen e2 just so I get castle. I'm just seeing what kind of moves he can make in the meanwhile that'll make my life miserable. I guess he has this, but then here, if he drops down, he's still maintaining contact, unfortunately. All right, so bishop g4 would be an annoyance, huh? Mm. Oh, bishop g4, then I would just do knight g3. Then takes, and queen takes, and he doesn't have any connection. Nothing else that I see that he could do will uh, bother me at all, that I can see. Yes, he does do that. Oh, I missed that. All right, all right. He loses the queen, though, doesn't he? He has to. Yeah, he has to lose the queen there. There's no shot that he doesn't uh, just retreat. Not only will I grab his queen here, but hopefully I should have a decent <coughs> a decent attack towards the end. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so he does go for it. Ooh, 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. So if I take with bishop, it's going to be pawn takes. Um. Hmm. How do I want to do this? So I want to take the right pieces at the right time. I think I might have to take here. Just because I want this bishop to stay alive. So I have this attack that I mentioned previously. Yeah, and then this pawn will be something like a target later, so. I say we we try it. It goes here, then here. Ah, but he's gonna get a rook for my piece. It's gonna suck a little bit. I guess two knights isn't too terrible. But yeah, I didn't prefer that. I also got to see if maybe this check would work. <coughs> Excuse me. Then again, maybe I'm not so well or uh, worse off. I think here has to be his move. Because I think if he takes, I'm just going to recapture. And then if we trade off these, then he didn't really gain anything. I guess he can double his rooks, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Excuse me, but my knight can just come to e4. Not to mention I have this attack first. So. Yeah, if he takes the rook first, then, then he takes this. Then I'm just going to sidestep it and not lose my queen. But yeah, I think probably queen like g2 is his best option. That or if he wants to enter this, then that's fine as well. But I think that gives me some chances. Yeah, so he does opt for this. <clears throat> he doesn't lose his queen, though, right now, as things stand. Mm. 
could also take here. If bishop takes, discovery check. Or maybe I have something better. <coughs> maybe I have a discovery that could lead to checkmate. So check here, and then here. Or sorry. Here, I'm assuming he takes here. We pull out, check. Or no, we pull out here, so we block the bishop. So he sidesteps. Then the queen can come over. Check. And he can block with rook. Mm. I guess I'll be able to take the bishop then, right? Probably take here and take there. <clears throat> hmm. He could also take the rook though, which is rather annoying. But this, this looks playable at least. I mean, this position looks like I should be able to at least, like, uh, pick up something from this guy. anymore because there's no there's no for sure he goes to g8 he might just take the rook then I take back and then he takes my queen and he's gonna be up a rook pretty much he's just gonna be up a clean rook Maybe what I'll do is when he takes the piece, he'll be a piece up, but then I'll go here preemptively. Because he doesn't have a mate that I can see. This is going to be a pain in the ass, though. Yeah, I think queen takes he's in doing pretty well. I think queen takes, I got to retake. Then maybe like rook h4. So we did take with bishop, okay. So with bishop, I wasn't that worried. Because I'm pretty sure I have this. And then I'll be able to go here, take the bishop, hopefully. I think queen c4 I have here. <clears throat> I 
I mean, his queen still can't get out, really. Threatening this, then that, hopefully. <coughs> ah, so he sucks. That's smart. Um, that's all I gotta take. No choice there. This discovery is still like my my main threat though. <clears throat> Right. I figured he would do that. Um, so I can block, but I don't think that's very good for me. If I go here, he's going to take there. And I'm going to have to find some weird squares. Maybe I do block. Queen takes, 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 takes. I mean, he has a crap ton of pawns on me, but I'll still have the discovery, so maybe there's something there. But he also might just take the rook, which means that I will have to. Take the rook. He might check me here somewhere. That is all I see at the moment. <clears throat> I think him checking me here will be kind of a mistake. Maybe not. Then again, I could have just blocked. Discovery check. Nah. Or actually, yes, I could have. See, I should have just gone probably king c3 right away. Oh, well. Ooh, then again, if he checks here, I got to remember that uh, bishop can do d3 as well. Funny enough, his best move might be to um, to just take this with the queen. If he takes a bishop, I'm going to go bishop d3 and check. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because it would be mate anyway. Excuse me. Yeah, if he takes the rook, I think I'm fine. Yeah, this check doesn't exist, and this check will not exist. I might be lucky here. Wow, I'm going to lose 12 points if I lose this. For trolling a bunch, that will be my uh, my punishment. Maybe he should go here.
but then I'll check him there. He can come out, check here. He can go there, check. And I have the other rook at that point. So I'm not sure what defensive resource will work for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that's why he's thinking a lot, though. What I could do is if this exchange goes through, however that's going to go through, I can then do discover here and here. So he's forced to block with a rook. And then I'll take, and I'll be up the exchange, which will make up for the three pawns that I'm losing. Not to mention I'll still have mate on deck. <coughs> but yeah, let's see how he decides to play it. I don't doubt I may have missed something too. But I think I've looked at most of his offensive and defensive moves. Not to mention, when I have this pin, I could bring the other rook to f1. To pin that rook further. So it's also good that he's using a lot of his clock. Oh, let me change my rating. I'll be, I'll be humble this time. I didn't update it. I drew against a guy a lot lower rated. 1934 is what I'm at, yeah. 100... I probably have 28, or no, three draws is what I probably need to change to. Right? Somewhere, yeah, three draws. Okay, so he opts for taking the rook first. Which I will gladly take back. Alright, so we're going to go into this line. <coughs> like I said, I thought that I had a bishop g8 and we're fine. And king comes out and rook comes here. Check. So he's going to go here somewhere, so there. Yeah, I don't know if I missed anything, but I think that I should be able to find something. I'm optimistic. Yeah, so...
this here. And what does he have? <coughs> he got block. Okay. Uh, did I miss something? Is this not winning? I rucksack takes check yeah I just don't have enough pieces there hmm. check first block rucksack Assume he takes. And queen here check. He comes here and takes. Well, we'll see if it works or not. I think he has to block with queen to survive. I think if he blocks with a rook. Okay. Or sorry, other way around, I think it was. I think he had to block with the rook. Because now I think he's in trouble. Because check takes, and check. This is his only square, which leads to mate. So now I'm going to win a queen, I think. Am I missing something? I thought that was mate. I think it is mate. We did it, boys. Down two rooks. <clears throat> we triumphed over a king on a string. We put that boy on the world's longest string. Put him on a yo-yo. I don't know where I'm going with this. Is he going to give me the checkmate or is he going to resign? Why is he being lame? I'm willing to bet, though, if we check engine, I did a lot of unsound shit. Let's game review that. Beautiful game. Beautiful ending, I should say. <laughs> that's disgusting. We, we earned a brilliancy, though, so that's, that's all that matters, I think. Alright, so 1938. I gotta update it after every game, otherwise I'll forget. Properties. 128. <laughs> Alright, so here I had a chance to win too. So I'm curious what I did. But anyway, let me flip this green for you guys. Now you should be able to see analysis. <clears throat> 
So the computer doesn't really like C4, I don't think, in a position like this. We are already missing something. I think they prefer to have some pawns on the back rank. Castles. We take, queen takes, knight C3. They prefer A3, that's fine though. Queen H5. Bishop C4. Knight E4 is a mistake. Okay. So yeah, this was where the tactics already began. So queen g4, bishop d3, bishop f5, h3, takes, takes, takes. So this is winning for him. I thought this would be fine for me, but I was wrong. So queen e2 is bad. Apparently king was supposed to go there. Bishop g4, I go knight g3. <coughs> they want me to just take the sack, okay. It's interesting. We get knight e5. Bishop takes, pawn takes, then rook h1. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that move. Bishop e4. Yeah, I didn't see that. So we get queen g2. And yeah, I was supposed to take this with the rook. Which is bad. So how do I continue, though, once I take with the rook? Rook h2. Oh, okay, so it's the other move that I was talking about. And if he goes here, bishop check, king f7, queen c4 check. All right, and then I'm picking up another piece, depending on how he wants to block. So that's how that could have went on. <coughs> but I took with the bishop. He took with his bishop there. We got check, and his thought process was that, or sorry, that wasn't check, but his thought process was that if I'm going to lose this bishop anyway, then I might as well, you know, get a few pawns from it in a good position. So I took, he took, and I think king c3 was probably best. Okay, they say knight e2 is best. Then he took the rook, so I took back. What was his saving move? Um, g6. Okay, so that's what we were talking about. We took, played g5, and apparently, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. So here, this is still his only move, but now I have rook, okay. I had a different mating knight here, because <coughs> I think mine was flawed, at least I didn't think it through, I don't know why. So here, you just drop... Oh, that's covered by the queen. So this is your only square. In which case, queen delivers the mate. Okay. But instead, I want g8. And this is supposed to be a draw. King g7. Rook h7. King g6. And this is losing. I'm supposed to have taken this. So now what happens if he checks me though? King c2. c2, really? Okay. Now if he takes this, he's getting mated. Okay, that's interesting. So, what's his move supposed to be? Queen f5 check. Okay. So I actually hold on to these pieces for a good while. Because if he ever takes, then I kind of have some mating threats. But instead, I went queen e6. He blocked with the queen, which I knew was bad. Like I was saying, he had to... Boy, I actually said it the wrong way when we were playing. But he needed to not allow this. If he blocks with a rook, then this doesn't work, because he just blocks it. And I can take it, but uh, yeah. So <coughs> he blocked with the queen. So we had the brilliant rook h6 check sacrifice. And he took it, which leads to mate. What he should have done is just sack the, the whatever it's called. And then you're supposed to take f6. I'm supposed to take e7 with check. And then you take g8. And I take f6. So that's what he should have done. But this is over anyway. Uh, there's no saving this either. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was a pretty good game, I'd say, despite the ups and downs. And uh, I will catch you for the next game.